So final question always involves a lot of information to get through. Um, so we've got chromium containing compound in chromite um, is FeCrO2. The percentage of chromium a sample of chromite can be determined using this method. So we start off with 5.25 grams of a sample. We heat it with sodium peroxide and we get that equation. We then add water, sodium uh, chromite dissolves um, to form a solution containing chromite ions, chromate ions rather. Um, then we are going to filter it, make the filtrate up to one decimeter cubed, take 25 centimeters cubed of that um, and do a uh, redox reaction with iodide and then we're going to react the um, uh, iodine with sodium thiosulfate um, under the standard uh, iodine thiosulfate titration. So it looks like a lot of information there, but um, really you've just got to try and keep, keep your head on this one. So the first one is step one, um, sodium oxide an NaFeO2 react water from an alkaline solution containing a brown precipitate. It's not a redox reaction. Write equations for the reaction of Na2O, so Na2O reacting with water, it produces an alkaline solution. Um, so the alkaline solution looks like it's going to be NaOH, and I'm going to have to have two of those. And the reaction of NaFeO2 with water um, is going to produce uh, a brown precipitate. What could the brown precipitate be? Well, you should know from your transition metal chemistry, it's likely to be FeOH3 iron 3 hydroxide and again it's an alkaline solution so NaOH gives you your alkaline solution and to get that to balance you need two waters like so. So when you get to this stage you may think oh you had all that information how on earth can you make sense of all the information on the previous page to <coughs> determine the percentage of mass of chromium. Well <coughs> it's actually not that bad you just got to try and um, look at the main points. Um, first of all, it's um, you're going to work out your moles of thiosulfate. So, moles of S two O three two minus is going to equal your concentration times the volume that you've used, and divide that by a thousand, and you get to two point five five times 10 to the minus 3. You've then got to get that back to your moles of iodine. So moles of I2, well it's going to be half that number, 2.55 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2 because it's a 2 to 1 reaction. So that gives you 1.275 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, you've now got to relate that now to chromium and it's told you that 1 CrO4 to minus is equivalent to 1.5 I2. So if you do that now, moles of CrO4 to minus is going to equal 8.5 times 10 to the minus four, but that was in 25 centimeters cubed. Um, you had it in one decimeter cubed originally, so that is 0 0.034 moles in one decimeter cubed. To get to that number, you divide that by 25 and times by a thousand. Um, therefore, you had that many moles of chromium because there's only one chromium in there, so that is equivalent to the moles of chromium. Therefore, you can work out a mass of chromium that you started with, which is 0 0.034 moles of 
or times your molar mass of chromium, which is 52, that gives you 1.768 grams. And then finally, your percentage is going to equal 1.768 divided by the original mass, which if you look at the top of the question, it's 5.25 times by 100. And your final answer is 33.7%. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. We've got a construction overall equation. I've got a CrO4 2 minus reacting with I minus and water to give me Cr3 plus plus I2. Um, and if I look over this side, I've got oxygens and I've got hydrogens going on. So I'm going to need to make hydroxide ions that side. I now need to get this to balance. The oxidation number of chromium there is plus six and there is plus three. So I've had to change there of minus three. Iodine, rather iodide going to iodine. Um, has gone from minus 1 to 0, so it's gone up by 1. So I need to times that by 3. So that means I've got 3 there, and I'm going to make 1.5 iodines there. I've now got to get my oxygens and hydrogens to balance. So if I pop a 4 there and an 8 there, that means that my oxygens will give me the 8 that I need there, and I've still got my 8 hydrogens there. Okay, now I need to um, <coughs> get uh, the half equations for this. So let's look at chromium. CrO4 2 minus going to give me Cr3 plus there. Um, and this is going to need the idea, and I can sort out myself, uh, sort out without having to worry about the water and stuff. So I'm going to put that there plus the 8 OH minus there. And that just need, means I need to look at the electrons now. Um, chromium there we said was plus 6 going to plus 3 there. So I'm going to need to add onto this side 3 electrons to allow that to be reduced. Iodine, far more straightforward. Um, iodine is just going to be I minus. Uh, goes to a half I2 plus an electron like so. And that is the end of the paper.